Hey Crop Girls, it's Tammy here. Today I'm going to share with you how to create miter cuts in your Forever Artisan software. So for this layout, it's going to be a double page layout creating a frame using a miter cut. So the first thing we are going to do is insert a shape and we are going to move, remove the stroke and we are going to make that shape 12 by 12. And we are going to center that on our page. And then we are going to make this frame one and a half inches wide. So I'm just setting my markers at one and a half. And because we're making this a double page layout, I don't need to set a marker on this side because we are just going to make the miter cut here and here. So the next thing we're going to do is create that miter cut. So we are going to go to the cut ribbon and custom and we are going to cut a straight path. And we're going to cut it from this corner to the center of the grid here and the center of the grid here and again to the corner. And then we are going to keep both areas and cut. The next cut we are going to make is we're going to highlight the, the larger piece and again go to the cut tab and the cut a straight path and go from this corner to the outside edge and we just want to cut that piece and again keep both areas and do the same at the bottom. So we're highlighting the larger piece. We're going to the cut a straight path and we're cutting just this area here that we want removed. And again, we're going to keep both areas and cut. And then we can remove this inner piece. So now if I remove these tabs, you can see we have a miter cut here and a miter cut here that gives it a nice frame. Now, if you wanted an inside frame here, you would uh, do the same process. So you would insert a shape and a rectangle. You're going to remove the stroke and then you're going to place it right in the center there and make it the size that you want it. And then say we wanted this to be a half an inch. So we would place our markers a half an inch in each way and do, and do that same process again. So we would hit the cut and the custom and cut a straight path. And we're cutting from this corner to the center marker and down and to the center marker and we are keeping both areas and then we're highlighting that inner piece again and custom straight path and again from that point and I usually just make it a little bigger it makes it easier and again keep both areas and then we will cut the bottom and again at that middle point and keep both areas and then we can click on that center piece and delete it and so now if we remove all the tabs you can see we have the miter cuts and this looks like a really nice double page so let's or single page so let's save that and then to make it a double page, we are going to click and make this a duplicate mirror image. So we want a mirror image of this page so that we can create that double page frame oh, and switch it around. So now if we were to view two separate trimmed pages, 
you could see that it is mirrored, but some of these do need to still be flipped. So we'll just go to the Arrange tab and we'll just flip everything around. And there we go. So we have a nice frame here that uh, has all these miter cuts. So now we can go ahead and we can go into our content and we can fill each of the pieces with the paper that we choose. And I'll just show you a couple of ways to do that. And you can see here, I'm actually choosing the edge of the paper. So it looks like uh, it's the scrapbook paper that's been chosen. And this piece, I will just fill with a color. So I'll just use my eyedropper and choose a color from the paper. Oops, I don't know why I did that. And again, we will fill that. And this one. So that's what your framed will look like with the miter cuts. Now, if you want the miter cut to be a little bit more noticeable, you can just click on the piece and use your arrow keys just to maybe move it over like one click. And then you can kind of see that, uh, that miter cut just a little bit better. And so I'm just going to save that. And that's how you create uh, miter cuts in Forever Artisan software. Happy scrapbooking!